but you're not going to be able to do this. Jesus has given us many visions, but are you saying, wait, or do you want to do it now? God will give you a time. For example, like, I go to college, like, it's been a stressful two years of my life, what a waste of time. But, <laughs> but, yeah, like, first, first year, I was expected A's in that. I didn't get that, so I was like saying, oh, God, what's happening, man? Because you know, when you revise for exam, you're like, I've got that, I've got that, chemistry, bruv, I've got that, I've got that. Then the exam comes, I'm getting a B. I'm thinking, what? How am I getting a B? B or D? B, 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 not D. I don't get D's, man, not B. Yeah, so like, I was thinking, how am I getting, how am I getting a B? When I revised hard, even like GCSEs, I didn't revise that much, and I was getting A's. So with A-levels, I've been revising, I'm getting B's. So I was, I was stressful, was like, I was just thinking, ah, oh, I want to go Oxford, ah, oh, I want to go Cambridge. How am I going to get B's and go Cambridge or Oxford? Because like, when I was young, that's that, like, been through my head, ah, oh, Raymond, you're going to go Cambridge, Raymond, you're going to go Oxford. But unfortunately, or maybe God to God's glory, I'm not going to go, but my sister will go, amen. amen. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so like, yeah, when after college, like with college, I was just getting stressed. I didn't take college seriously, and they was like, oh, my attendance is not good. So they were looking to kick me out. Then my mum was like, Raymond, how can you get kicked out? By, by the way, I'm, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to a good college. I'm going to Newvik. And they're saying they're going to kick me out. How can you get kicked out of Newvik? It's not a good college. So then my mum was like, Raymond, you're playing games. You're playing games. You gave me a lecture, a lecture, a lecture, a lecture, everything. So then after, I had to fix up. Like, even though I haven't fully fixed up, but I had to fix up. So then after I fixed up, I was just doing it, I was doing it. I wanted to um, become a, a doctor at first. I don't know if it was like the parents just gassing me up and like everything. Like, Raymond, you'll be a doctor. So I just wanted to be a doctor. So then after I go to work experience, then they're putting me on woods, saying you're not leaving here until nine. I'm like, huh? What do you mean I'm not leaving here until nine? I'm going home, man. So then after, they was just like, you're not serious, you're not this, you're not that, you're not that. Then I was just like, God, what's happening? Why, why is this happening to me? Like, I've, I listen to your word. I don't do that bad. I do do bad. No one's perfect, but I listen to your word. And then God was like, he just saying to me, he's got his time for me. I'm not doing what, I'm not doing what he wants me to do. It's like, I'm doing what other people want you to do. So like, today I'm just saying to you, I'm just saying to you, God's got a time for you. He will knock you down to lift you back up. Amen. With my results, he knocked me down. Because when you're expecting A's and then you get B's and C's, you're not going to be happy. So he will knock, Jesus will knock you down to lift you back up. Now let me read from um, verse 2, verse 2 to verse 9. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three weeks. I ate no pleasant food, no meat or wine came into my mouth. Nor did I anoint my, myself at all, till three weeks were fulfilled. Now on the 24th day of the first month, as I was by the side of great river, that is the Tigris, I lifted my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose waist was girded with gold or upas. His body was like a beryl, his face like the appearance of lightning, his eyes like torches of fire, his arms and feet like burnished crumbs in color, and the sound of his words like the voice of multitude. And I, Daniel, alone, saw the vision. For the man who were with me did not see the vision. But a great terror fell upon me, so they fled from themselves. There will become a time when you are knocked down that your friends will flee from you. Daniel said, everybody that was with me flee, fleed from me. That means everyone that was with him, they left him alone. There will come a time when your, your friends will leave you alone, you'll notice that you haven't got friends, like you've got friends, but they're not there for you when you really need them because they also need someone that's going to be there for them. So you can't go and put your troubles on them. Like now, if you was to say, ah, oh, um, if you was to say, you can I, like, me and Thomas, he says, ah, oh, I don't bring my stuff to your house, I want to sleep over for two weeks. What am I going to say? Like, you can't rely on anyone. You have to just rely on God. That's what Daniel said. Even though my strength has been taken away, even though I've got my vision, even though I've lost weakness, even though my friends have fled, but I have not lost my God. There'll come a time when you want something 
that you'll get knocked down, but Jesus will bring you back up. For example, you're about to get married. You've prepared for four or five years. You haven't done any bad, you're about to get married. And then your aunties from Ghana, from Canada, from France are all coming down. And on the on the first on a on the first day, you're gonna get married on the Saturday. On the first day, the guy says, I don't wanna marry you no more. Are you gonna say, to God be the glory, or are you gonna say, Jesus, why have you forsaken me? Jesus will knock you down to lift you back up. There's nothing that's too small for Jesus. He can do anything. He knocks people down to lift them back up. Do you after that, would you um, after that would you still be coming to church singing hallelujah, hallelujah, or would you just be quiet asking God, why me? Would you remember that Jesus says, I order the steps of a righteous man? I notice every hair that comes out of you. Would you remember all that Jesus has promised you, or would you forget because he's because you think he's forsaken you? Jesus also says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. So if you come down on troubles, if like something happens to you, you get knocked down, you have to come back up. Because with Jesus, anything can happen. Daniel also says, the Lord knocked me down. There's going to come a time when Jesus is going to knock you down. If you want to, like, if you want to come higher in life, there's always something that if you want to do something, you'll get knocked down before you can reach to the mountains. There's going to come a time when Jesus is going to knock you down, where you're going to notice that your friends that you thought you could lean on have no back. Where, the, where, where you're going to think this person will never leave you, leaves you. Like, you can't trust in man because man will deceive you. The only one you can trust in is Jesus. There's going to come a time when you get knocked down. But when you get knocked down, you shouldn't stay down. You need to rise back up. That's why my message today is when I get um that's why my message today is knocked down for a lifting up. That um Jesus wants the people that are willing. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Ruth said, God, I love you. Your people are my people. Your God is my God. You are everything I want. Silver town is very important. But God doesn't take all to win all. There comes a, there's going to come a time when we're going to get left behind. When other people are up here, some people are here and some people are there. Then you're going to be like, why? Why did that happen to me? So you need to like be in tune with God. Like to stop what, like everybody, nobody's perfect here. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Like even when I'm coming here, I was like, oh, why am I coming here, man? I don't want to come here. Like it's just... <laughs> Like there's, there's, I've I've been knocked down. Re I've been knocked down recently. I've been, I'm, st I'm still on my way up. I've been knocked down recently. Like there was a time where I didn't even come to church for time. I didn't come to church for time. I was knocked down. And like with God, I'm coming back recently. But like if you get knocked down, just make sure you don't stay down because nobody's gonna pick you up. The person that knocks you down ain't gonna pick you up. The person that hates you to knock you down won't love you to pick you up. Jesus can do everything. So like, when you're, when you're with him, your life will just change. Daniel saw it. Daniel, Daniel saw it. He got knocked down. His strength was taken away from him. But at the end of the day, he, he got, he, everything was regained. If you read, if you carry on, if you carry on reading, that's when Daniel, his prophecies come. That's when Daniel becomes a great man. Like, Persia hold it on to his, um, the spirit of Persia hold it on to Daniel for three weeks. Daniel was down for three weeks. How long have you been down? Do you want to still be down? Like, there comes a time where in your life you want to evaluate what you want to do. You just want to change all your mindsets that you have done. You want to change everything that's bad. And you want to lift back up. Jesus can lift you back up. He, um, Daniel says, my earth quaked. I don't know what is quake, um, quaking in your earth right now. It could be education, it could be family, it could be money. But Jesus will lift you back up. Our God says he's been with us from the beginning and he's not going to leave us now. Jesus will be with you. Daniel was a great man, but when he got knocked down, he was knocked down for three weeks. If you compare Daniel to us, we're nobody. But because of Jesus, we are somebody. 
Because of Jesus is here, he can knock, he can lift us back up, even though we're down. I don't know what is quaking around you. I don't know what is pushing you down, but Jesus is going to lift you back up. Um, Isaiah said, arise, arise and shine. Job 22, 20, um, Job 22, 29 said, though I cast you down, you'll be lifted back up. Jesus can lift you back up. There's nothing too hard for him. You just need to put your life on Jesus. You need to stop what you're doing. The Sodomite woman, her, um, the Sodomite woman, her son died. She said, all is well. Even though you've been knocked down, even though anything's happened to you, you still need to have faith in God. You still need to love God. Like, this is why I said my message is related to Hannah. When, um, that Friday, when she didn't get to do it, she could have got angry, she could have done this, she could have done that, but she still relied on God. That's what Jesus wants you to do. He wants you to rely on him so that he'll open a brighter future for you. He'll open a way for you. Jesus is mighty. Um, yeah. So like, yeah, definitely doing something there. Jesus can do anything, yeah. He's like, he's, he, he lifts up people that are down. We're all, at time, we're all gonna get knocked down to be lifted back up. Like, God's time is the best time. Don't think that just because God has done this to you, you're not gonna be lifted back up. He'll lift you up. There's people that like, sinners, um, adulterers, anything, he's lifted them up. The mighty, 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 mighty people that are in the Bible, they were all bad people. None of them were good. Jesus' is, um, Jesus is great, great, great grandmother was a prostitute. Like, it's so, like, G like us, yeah, we're no one, we're no one. So, we're, even though, yeah, we're Christians, with Jesus, we need Jesus' help. We need to, like, we need to stand today. Like, we need to change our lives like some of us have been knocked down for long some of us are on our way up some of us are still up but when you're up that's when the devil will strike you nobody is too holy like everyone is holy holiness won't save you from all so today i just want to say that like get up <laughs> that's it just get up just get up like you've been down for too long we've been down for too long just get up like, there comes a, like, you just see people, like, they'll be with their boyfriend and they'll be their girlfriend and then you see the girl getting bare gassed over the boy thinking, ah, oh, I'm gonna marry you. Where, in truth, he hates the girl or in truth, he's just beating the girl. And then after, in two years, he's gonna leave her. Because, listen, he's just using you, using and abusing you for his maintain. When he gets a new wife, he's leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, the man upstairs will never leave you or he'll never forsake you. So today, I just want to, like, I want, I, don't, I just want someone to come and lead the worship. I mean, just lead us into prayers that, like, we've been knocked down. None of us are perfect. No one can say they're perfect. We've been knocked down. We've done bad stuff. But... The thing is, we cannot stay down. We need to rise back up. Isaiah said, arise and shine. Job 22, 29 said, even though you're cast down, you shall lift up. Amen. Jesus has said it, so we need to take it. We need to take, not just take in, not just let it come through one ear and go through the other. We need to actually change our lives yeah, and then arise. Jesus said, you get knocked down. There'll come a time where you have no friends. But when you have no friends and everyone is laughing at you, don't let that be. Carry on. Like, there's some people in life, they'll go do an exam, they'll fail, then they'll just stop. That's probably your test. Jesus is probably knocking you down to rise you back up. If you fail, try again. If you fail again, try again. If that's what you want to do, you can't just stop and then go and do something else. Because if just say you're... Um, you're doing, um, you're going to college, you're doing A-level first year, AS first year, you fail, so then you go and do B-Tech. Like, why? <laughs> B-Tech is a good subject, no offense to B-Tech, but like, or, like, or it's not even that, I'm just saying, you're failing, like, it's like, it's like, I don't know how to say, like, 
if you're doing something and then just because you fell, it doesn't mean you're gonna, you have to change what you're doing. Like, some people, BTEC's bad for them. Some people, A-Levels is bad. Some people, they don't even need school. Like, Richard Branson, like, many, like, Alan Sugar, they don't even need school. So, it's like, if you're gonna fail, just don't fail. Stand back up. Because Isaiah said it, arise and shine. Job 22, 29 says, even though you cast, even though I cast you down, even though he cast me down, he will always lift me back up. Today, we need Jesus to lift us back up. Today, there's, there, there's like, like, um, in Silvertown, we've got like, let's just be real, we've got different levels. There's some people that are up there, and there's some people that are down there. I'm like, down there, like, I'm like down there, I'm not up there. But I need to make myself come up there with all of you and join you, because, because like, it's like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, it's like speak your you, own story. <laughs> you can't just we as as humans, like we need to progress. We need to be happy with life. We can't just be sad all the time. Jesus says he's gonna knock us down. He he knocked Daniel down to lift Daniel back up. If he didn't knock Daniel down, you don't know. Maybe you wouldn't have brothers called Daniel. Maybe people wouldn't be naming their children Daniel. Because Jesus knocked down Daniel and then Daniel was lifted up. Today, we've been knocked down in our life. We need to arise back up. Today, I don't know what's knocked down in your life. If it's education, you need to break what's knocking your education down. If it's friends, you need to break your friends that are knocking you down. If it's money, you need to break the money that's knocking you down. If it's girls, you need to break the girls that are knocking you down. If it's like that smile, like mine, you need to knock it down. <laughs> You need to knock everything down, because at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, if, I, if, if I'm sinning with you, and then you die, I'm going to change, but you're dead, you're going to go hell. <laughs> Bro, so like, you need to just... <laughs> so, so like, you just need to change, like, Sometimes you need to think as well. Even though yeah, we've been knocked down for a time, we don't always need to be down. For example, a poor person doesn't always want to be poor. They want to progress in life. Us as well, we want to be happy Christians. In Christianity, Christianity means you should have happiness. Like, be happy every time, be smiling every time. There should be a smile in you. That's why I'm always smiling. There should be like happiness in you. Like. You shouldn't be angry. Yeah, God says you should be angry. But as Christians, we need to progress. Like, we need to be happy. <laughs> yeah, so, God has knocked us down. He's going to lift us back up. Amen. So today, I just want to ask Uncle to lead prayers and lift us back up. Amen. Amen.